Well, hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Silvina and in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between style and fashion. Okay, so a little disclaimer, I'm not saying that one is better than the other, they are just different terms that sometimes get mixed up and they are used to replace each other when they, they shouldn't always be. Sometimes fashion and style can overlap but sometimes they don't. So in this video, I want to help you clear the air on what fashion is and what style is. So with that being said, let's begin with today's video. Okay, number one is fashion is what people wear at a specific time and style is who you are. Fashion is a reflection of a particular way of dressing in a time and a place, so it's contextual and definitely cultural. Fashion now is different from the 1970s and the 1930s and even, you know, the Middle Ages or the ancient times. But on the other hand, style is an expression of who you are, it's a sense of self and what you represent through aesthetic choices such as clothing and accessories and hairstyles style, makeup, the colors that you wear, the level of formality, and so many other elements. Okay, difference number two is that fashion is short-lived and style is almost timeless. And I say almost timeless because definitely your style can evolve over time, especially as you age or you change your lifestyle, but it will evolve with you, not what with the society or the industry dictates. In general terms, your style, once you find it, and this is really important, you have to find it first, it won't vary too much and it will be something that it will identify you for the rest of your life. Fashion, on the other hand, since it's contextual, it has a relatively short life and it's based on trends. That's why when we say someone is fashionable it's because they have a more trendy style and they are up to date with the trends. Okay so fashion has life cycles. First, trends are adopted by a few industry leaders. Once more and more people start to see their appeal, brands tend to replicate those trends and then they become mainstream. But by the time they hit mainstream the trend is already declining and they are starting to be replaced by other trends. That is literally how the fashion industry works. And and every few years or every few decades, depending on the trend, that whole cycle for that specific trend starts to repeat again. That's why people always say that trends recycle themselves or our mothers sometimes tell us, I used to wear that when I was younger. Because in fashion, some trends do come back generation after generation, but this is important, adapted to the context because like we said, fashion is contextual. And here's why I want to clarify that sometimes fashion and style can overlap because your style can literally be based on fashion on trends. You can have a trendy style and always be wearing the latest trends because maybe that's what reflects you and your personality so that can be your image. I do think that sometimes this is not the case for everyone especially when we're talking about celebrities and models and public personas that you know you see them and they have a very trendy style publicly but in their personal life they don't have that style. That, that is not the case that I'm talking about. But there certainly exists people that in their day-to-day -day life they have a very trendy style that's part of their personality and who they are. So that's the case that I'm talking about. Okay, difference number three is that fashion is collective and style is individual. Of course, people may have similar styles, but ultimately, since we said that your style is an expression of who you are visually, it's uniquely your own, even if it shares elements with other people or if it takes inspiration from others. And the term style is generally used instead of personal style, which is literally a reflection of your self-expression, in this case, through clothing and accessories and makeup and hair. I actually have a video talking about some tips on how to find your personal style so if you don't know already and you want to find out you can maybe go check that video out after this video i will leave it up here but on the other hand as i said fashion is collective so it's adopted by a group of people in a specific time and a place it becomes very popular and mainstream and it has life in that particular time and place to later die down it has no continuity and you may argue that there are styles that are adopted by a large group of people so that in itself should make it collective like for example the old money style that is very popular right now and my response to that will be first of all that the old money style has been around for more than 100 years without any big alterations and it's still relevant today so it is timeless and it may have its ups and downs in popularity for a certain group of people and this is also a case where I said that style meets fashion when a style becomes popular because for other people that style is a reflection of who they are and they wear it all the time even before it became popular. And secondly, like I said, even if people have similar styles, no person is exactly the same as another one so their styles won't be exactly the same either. Okay, difference number four is that fashion is dictated by others and style is dictated by yourself. Okay, 
Okay, so fashion is an industry, we all know that. And what happens in the industry is dictated by industry leaders, such as, for example, designers and corporations and textile manufacturers and influencers and many other actors. All of them determine which are going to be the next trends that us, the public, will see everywhere and we may even adopt into our own wardrobe. But once again, your style is individual to you. You decide what you wear, trends or no trends, you decide how you want to look, you decide the image that you want to reflect to the world. So basically, when we're talking about your style, you define it and when we're talking about fashion, the whole industry defines it. And lastly, difference number five is that fashion is external and style is internal. Fashion creates a link to the exterior because it's popular, therefore a large group of people adopts it. And it creates a superficial sense of belonging with the exterior world, with society, and with the industry itself. It searches for what's coming next and for external validation, which is not inherently wrong, but it's generally not you. Fashion is relatable because you see other people wearing the same things as you, so it kind of makes you belong and be a part part of this time and place, this era, but it's all for the outside. Style is individual, is unique to you, it's your identity, therefore it creates a link to the interior, it's a connection with yourself. It invites you to listen and to know more about yourself. So fashion takes our attention away from ourselves and style brings our attention directly to ourselves. And no one will have the exact same style as you, so it kind of enhances your sense of individuality. And that's why fashion and trends are generally more accepted by the younger generations than the older ones because when you're young more often than not you don't have your sense of self fully developed yet or at least you're trying to find out who you are so trends are interesting and they are dynamic and they allow us to experiment with things until we find out what's really us and what's not I'm 100% sure that the majority of you, as I have, have worn so many different trends and experimental styles in the past. Let me know down in the comment section if that's you because I'm pretty sure that I'm right. But now you maybe see pictures of that time and you're like, that is totally not my style. And that is totally okay because that was what those years were for, to experiment and that led you to find your style and be actually the person that you are today. Okay, but before we end this video, another question that I want to put out there, and maybe you can answer it too in the comments, give your input on it, is, is style and aesthetic the same? I personally think that yes and no at the same time, because they do have a lot of similarities, and maybe aesthetic is a Gen Z way of referring to style, but I do think that aesthetic goes a little bit beyond style. It goes a little bit further than that. And this is because I think that aesthetic is a style that is a lot more curated and carefully planned, you know, style with purpose, while your style, you know, your actual style is a lot more effortless and more natural to you. I also think that aesthetic could even go beyond clothes and hairstyles and accessories and involve more conceptual things that fit into the aesthetic, as we talked about in my Dark and Light Academia video. I don't know if you remember. So yeah, that is just my view, but you can leave yours down in the comment section. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts about this whole topic of style and fashion and aesthetic. I would really like to know your comments. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for more fashion and lifestyle content. And as always, I will leave the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!